Hello, I hope everyone is well and thank you for clicking on this video. Just a few housekeeping bits before I move on to the questions. Firstly, thank you to everyone who has left questions, I'm going to answer as many as I can. Secondly, thank you for the ongoing support, especially those stories that are well on the way and now almost finished. Lastly, for early access to all of our content, sometimes months in advance, check out our Patreon page. There's been some new tiers added recently. How did I learn world building? I've never really had any um, creative writing classes or anything along those lines. Um, I think I'm just creative naturally as a person. I enjoy a good story, as I'm sure we all do. Um, from a young age, I enjoyed story-driven games more than I did the action ones. Um, Final Fantasy 7 was something that I really enjoyed as a, as a kid and I think just over time I've had these thoughts and ideas in my head and uh, when I, uh, well, usually when I walk to work I think about what would happen in the stories, what I want to happen to the characters and then ideas just come that way really. Uh, and then what do I like to write about apart from gender play fiction and sci-fi? Um, I do like a good love story, um, I have tried a few love stories, if you've not seen the Christmas special for Family Friend Makeover, that's um, one I really like, I'm proud of that one, but um, I don't really write anything else, if I'm honest. Do I listen to music when I write? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got quite the random playlist at the moment, usually it's really soppy stuff, especially if I'm trying to write an emotional scene. I, think, I feel like music really does add to the emotion of um, the story when I'm writing it. So, I mean, the last few things I've listened to is uh, the Linger from the, by the Cranberries. Um, there's One More Night by Phil Collins. Uh, and the song Tangled by Maroon 5. Check them out if you've not heard them. Am I one person or is it a small group of people? Um, there is a couple of people that help me make stuff. So um, I've got somebody that helps me with the TG captions. Uh, there's also somebody else that helps with storyboarding. I'm not really sure if they want me to share their details or not, so we'll just keep it at that for now. And then I've got also a guest writer who has just recently started doing stories for Patreon for me. Um, but the majority of it is done by me. Um, so a lot of the stories, for example, the Pale Pink Packet, I've written all of those, I've storyboarded all of that, I've planned all of that, I've got all the artwork commissioned for it, I've put all of the videos together and done all the promotions. So it is quite a lot of hard work. So again, this might be why it takes a little while for these things to come out. I've got a full-time job as well, which I obviously need to do to keep, <laughs> to keep my house, keep living. Um, and Gender Playbooks is definitely not at a point where I can do this full time. Hopefully that one day in the future that will be a thing. Uh, but no, technically it is just me. What's my favorite franchise? Huge fan of Destiny at the moment. Um, not so much with the new game release, but I love the story. There is definitely elements of inspiration in mine if you look for it. Um, I do really like Star Wars. Massive fan of uh, Avatar. Um, not the Blue Alien film, but The Last Airbender. Um, and just generally anything. Uh, really looking forward to Ted Lasso when that comes on the TV in the UK too. Huge fan of that. Huge fan of Scrubs as well. Definitely something that was massive inspiration on me growing up. If you've not watched Scrubs, definitely recommend it. It's a little bit dated now, but the stories are still very good. Who's my favorite character that I've written? I like all of them. They are all my characters, um, but Nathan slash Sonya is definitely one that holds dear to my heart. Um, I think he's more, more based in re realism than most of them because obviously a lot of it is still sci-fi. I also really like Jack too. Which one do I relate to the most? Um, so very similar to the last question really. I relate the most to Jack 
his lying to his mother to keep his cross-dressing secret I think is something that's very uni universal to people with gender issues um, and just the fact that he wants to, to, to dress feminine even though he knows he shouldn't it's just very of well, like like me I suppose and I guess like a lot of people he's just doing his best um, to make himself feel happy so I definitely relate to that is the ocean a soup um, probably not I mean if you drank it or, or ate it it would be very salty but um, I'm not sure you'd enjoy it if I could have superpowers beside uh, shape-shifting what would they be Oh, definitely time unit manipulation. Um, being able to slow down time, I think, would be brilliant. Literally anything that you wanted to do, you could do when slowing down time. Um, so let's say you wanted to, I don't know, rob a bank. You could slow down time and get away with it because time would be stopped. What story do I find hardest to write? They can all be really difficult to write for if I'm not in the right frame of mind. So the motivation has to be there and the creativity has to be there. I find it sometimes really difficult if that story hasn't done very well or the reaction isn't very good, that um, it's very hard to pick that story up again. If I'm feeling really motivated or creative towards that story, then it's a breeze and then it, and it comes out of my mind really easy. How do I feel about writing TG stories instead of normal cross-dressing ones? I'm um, absolutely fine with it. Um, I feel like it's pretty much the same same sort of idea. Uh, a crossdresser dresses um, in the opposite gender's clothing to feel like the opposite gender. Um, and TG Stories is pretty much the same thing, um, but it's just transformation related, I guess, in my opinion. Um, I, I enjoy both. I like a good sci-fi story, so TG fits that really well. But then I like a good love story and cross-dressing in more in reality and that just fits well with that where am i in the world i'm from the uk so england but not from london favorite story that i've done um i really like the Bristol championship exchange story which still hasn't been finished there's still a third book for that to be written but i've got absolutely no motivation or plan for that um the family friend makeover story was one based within some truth of my life, so I really like that one too. Sonia's story is one of my first completed. Uh, I do genuinely have quite an attachment to that. Um, and the pale pink packet is one of my most popular, so I, I really do like that one too. Um, and the whole Grimalkin uh, saga that's going on, I think, I, I, I really like that anyway. Um, hopefully in the end when the stories all come together um, and then it becomes kind of combined into one story with all of the characters from those different stories. I hope that should be quite good. Can I give a brief recap to the stories that are part of the Mittens universe? So as I just said the Grimalkin saga is kind of the same thing so you've got uh, my sister Ivy, the pale pink packet, um, you've got Mittens, um, then there's the makeup curse and the dysphoria. I think that's all of them. Oh, and my second chance too, that's based in the same universe. Whether that'll be attached to the stories or not, I don't know. Um, but they all take place within the same universe, yeah. So I'm not sure about this question. Are you planning to make Matt go from a real male to his alter ego, Sonia, to that of a real female through something like the bullies have thrown? him into a vat of DNA based nanotech um no that one's more based in reality than it is sci-fi um realistically Matt's story is just a continuation of Sonya's story it's a love story um it'll have a soppy ending I hope rather than uh, <laughs> an epic sci-fi ending do I regret any of the videos or stories I've made um, I wouldn't say I regret anything that I've put out. Um, obviously, I'm um, an amateur writer and doing this in the public is still very new to me. So if I've made mistakes, then yeah, that's something that I've done. I'm not really sure what story this might be referring to, but I have an idea. Um, mistakes are to be learned from. 
you can't regret any mistakes that you've made in life otherwise what's the point you need to make the mistakes to learn um, my aim is really just to have as much as I can a positive outlook on the subject matter that I'm writing about but at the same time characters that can make mistakes within the stories and, and have an opportunity to learn otherwise there's no character progression and there's no real story it's just the same carbon cut out of every other TG story that's out there and I definitely don't want to do that one of the biggest reasons I even started doing this is because of the poor quality of TG content that was out on YouTube about two three years ago during the lockdown um, obviously it's got a hell of a lot better now and there's some really good TG writers out there posting on the platform but what I definitely don't want to do is have vanilla characters that don't really do anything or don't really learn anything from their actions or what happens to them in the story around them so do I regret anything I, I guess no what areas of my own life or others have influenced my stories um, that's hard to say to be fair some of the aspects of what the characters do or say is from my own life um, the family friend makeover story again is based somewhat on um, true events in my life other than that I'm not really sure I mean I talk to a lot I have talked to a lot of people over the years that are, that are in the community and people have said things to me and they might come into the stories um, as a sort of thing I've heard that happens or an experience that's happened to them I'm more than happy to hear about people's experiences especially if it comes to trans related issues um, I um, I'm a cross-dresser myself, not um, transitioning, so any experience or knowledge that can be given to me that we could put into the stories to help others understand themselves, I think would be, I think is really important. So if you've got any uh, life advice, feel free to, to share it. Uh, will I write any uh, stories featuring uh, popular uh, characters such as Ash Ketchum or Sonic the Hedgehog? There is indeed a uh, Pokemon body swap on the second channel. It's got two parts. I need to pick it up. Um, I would like to do other um, fan fiction. It's just getting around to it. Um, I'm just too busy, really. What did Disney princess would I be? Uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Um, I'm not a big princess person, if I'm honest. But, um... I guess, uh, I don't even know the girl's name, or the princess's name. The one from Tangled with the really long hair. It's not Anna, I know that. God, what a rubbish answer. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm not a really big princess person. What's my favourite series to write for? At the moment, I think it's Matt's story. I really like all of the characters. I like where the story's going, and I hope that it's going to come to a really nice conclusion. Um, but I do really like the Grimalkin saga, like all of those stories put together. I've been enjoying putting Easter eggs in, in the stories. So, you know, when it all comes together, you can look back at it and think, oh, that was mentioned there. Um, I, uh, well, I really, I just like writing, to be fair. So thank you for listening to all of those questions there. Thank you for everybody that gave questions. I did cherry pick the ones I wanted to answer. Um, enjoy the uh, footage in the background, it's me making a comic, very short comic. Um, thank you again for all of the support on the videos. Um, if you can leave likes on them, that would be fantastic. And definitely, if you can, check out the Patreon. There has been some new tiers added for anyone that's interested. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.